Hello there. Welcome back to Let's Play Far Harbor. You might notice we've got a different companion with us. Somebody in the comments mentioned we should bring Nick Valentine to this part of the game, which makes sense. This is a synth hideout, and he's a synth. So let's see. Let's see what old Nick's going to find out when he goes into synth town. Also, yeah, get out of the armor. Get out of the armor, just in case. Where'd you go? Nick, what are you doing? Nick, where? Nick. Nick, I need you to carry stuff. Hey. There's something you need? Take a look. Get out of the armor, just in case. We need some charisma when we first walk in. And give Nick some weight. So we're not overburdened. Now is not not the suit that I'm wearing. Is that not the suit that I'm wearing? Oh, I'm wearing an armored clean black suit. Okay, I forgot it was armored. Alright, we got our weight under control. Let's go see. So, see what's in Acadia. He. See what's in Acadia. Okay, you're just manning the. He's manning the defenses. Let's go see what's in Acadia. Maybe they got some lobster. At the very least, hope for a little bit of chowder. So yeah, send old Longfellow back to his cabin. He can wait for us there. It's also a settlement. We'll need to be checking in at some point to use the uh, storage facilities. Alright, so we didn't get greeted at the entrance. It's like nobody's... What? Nick. There you are. That's not... It's not stealing, so I'll just go ahead and take it. Might as well loot if we're allowed to. How come there's nobody greeting us at the entrance? We need the key. And the music is weird. You building a collection or something? That reminds me, are there any? No, there's no new radio stations yet. What am I supposed to listen to? It only opens with a key. You know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. All right. You don't mind if I steal your stuff then? Just a quick little bit of pickpocketing, that's all, eh? I mean, I'm a little bit stove up, but I'll get through. Uh, 
and now that I'm here, I'm sure you can tell me what's going on with, I forgot her name, I'm terrible with names, but, you know, the teenage girl, the Nakano girl, whatever her first name was, she thinks she's a synth, I'm not so sure. I am taking my time rifling through all your belongings. How do I get, do you have a key? I need to get in there. That looks, with your words. <laughs> that looks like an interesting room. Okay, not, that looks like a Mr. Handy Oil, but it's not. Nothing too interesting in the loot yet. Don't have the key. All right, how do we get the Acadia key? Yes, I am avoiding. I am avoiding the plot as I always do. We got some Matrix screens going on here. Please reboot, something about override. It's kind of hard for me to read it at the speed it's moving with my eyes. Not being great. Please reboot system error, rodeo, end system override, system override, please save system. Okay. Um, whole lot of, oh, whole lot of empty junk. Ah, Acadia storage key. Are you ready to talk about why you're here? No. Synth kind is willing to welcome you, as long as you welcome us. Where is everybody, though? You, where is everybody? Where's the actual town, man? Can't pick this. No. Nope. No way to pick this. Which door does that key unlock? We need the key. Hmm. All right. I guess we'll talk to Dima. Hello. Are you ready to talk about why you're here? It's in your chest. Synth kind is willing to welcome you, as long as you welcome us. Anything to say about that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I was trying to turn on my turn my flashlight off, not hit hit a conversation option. Multi-purpose buttons sometimes they can mess you up. Okay, yeah, Kasumi, that's her name. Careful with your words. Admirable. No, I'm not going to be careful of my words at all. Well, in that case, I want a new cola, some stim packs, Kasumi Nakano returned to her family, and, um, mm, a pony? <laughs> I see. I'm afraid some of those things I'm not in a position to give. Do you have the pony? Kasumi is here. The pony? Pony? She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. She Before you do, though... Tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? That's we what I'm not answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just That's... who the hell are you, really? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own, and I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick, it, it can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please, if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. Well, it is good we brought Nick with us then. Is this a joke? Do you really know Nick? Let me tell you what I know, and you can judge for yourself. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. 
One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... there's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. Well... Yeah, that was a plot dump. We wouldn't have gotten without Nick, I guess. Uh, yeah, he doesn't seem to want to talk now, Don't so... Don't let me bother you. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. It sure is. Nick. I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. If you could indulge me with an answer. Well, first of all, I think it's really interesting that you were... You're not... You're not a replicant. You don't have fake memories. You're just... You're just a natural robot person who grew up as a robot. So that's... That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Are you... All right? Um... You know what? I'm thinking she's human, are yep. She's human. And she has a family waiting for her. But imagine what it means if you're wrong. If Kasumi is a synth, then she doesn't have a family. She never had one. Think about how she must feel. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? <laughs> uh, oh, fuck. Uh, oh. Um, uh, no, I wouldn't ex... I'm, I wasn't your time. I was not prepared for you to ask me that. Mm, no. But if I squint real hard in the mirror, sometimes I look like someone else. <laughs> I'm afraid when I try that trick, nothing really changes. I know it might seem impossible that you could be a synth, but tell me, what's the first thing you can remember? So, so this robot, this, this natural robot who was always a robot has a sense of humor <sighs> first thing I can remember I was with my family the day the bombs fell are you all right I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell we 
We ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day, and then waking up alone? We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Look, Isn't it funny look, how jerk. a memory can feel like a whole different reality? Don't make me question People, my reality. Places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. So he's he's just gonna he's just gonna put these doubts in my head and then not even did this you're you don't don't pull a blade runner on me and put these doubts in my head and then never give me an answer. It's a bit rude, eh? Careful with your words. Admirable. I've heard enough. Where is Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Well, the doors Acadia don't open. Is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else? Did, did you say Faraday Cage? Did you say Faraday Cage? Um, do I need anything else? Um, uh, I'm 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 not gonna tell him about my. I mean I mean I guess I could tell him about the railroad, but. Hmm. Yeah, he should like the railroad, so I guess I should tell him that. I'm part of a group that helps since a railroad. Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But the cost, I know how frightening it is, the risk of capture. But sacrificing what you are, avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life. Okay, Mr. Emotional Philosophy Guy. I don't know why this part of the game is so much more... Uh you know written than the main game the main game was just hey go bang bang shooty now all of a sudden we've Careful got like with your words. actual Admirable. moral dilemmas and philosophy and things are you saying you don't want the railroad's help it's not about that. It's about how you've let fear blind your cause. I didn't come to argue. I just wanted you to know we're out there, helping your people. I know. I'm sorry. It's easy for me to worry about our ideals while I'm so far away from the Commonwealth in relative safety. Can I help you with anything else? Are you all really synths? So everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Where's that voice coming from? Do you hear a voice? Am I imagining things? Dima? What? Somebody's supposed to be coming in. Hello. Ah, you left the door open. Hey, Faraday. You don't look like a synth. Are you sure you're not human? You look a bit... look a bit fleshy to me. I was having a 
hard enough time keeping up with repairs before all this nonsense with the Atom Lunatics. They're nothing you need to be concerned about. It's not them. I'm concerned about you, Dima. You can't solve all the world's problems. Certainly not all at once. Dearest Faraday, relax. All will be fine. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. And I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. Well, I don't know what he wants yet. So you're a synth? I am. I hope that's not a problem for you. Dima has worked hard to create a place for us where we can be safe from those who don't accept us. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Ah, so... You, you're not naturally without fog. You're running condensers and you're better at it because you're robots. The robots, they got better fog condensers up here. Up here. All right, Tom, but it doesn't get... I'm sorry, I thought you were going to say something? I don't, I don't know. I don't... You do all this work yourself? Mostly, yes. I get help from the others when I can. But no one else really understands Dima the way I do. Can you tell me about the fog condensers? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when it became clear the fog was only getting worse. And they're effective, but have such a limited range. Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor, and I'm so glad we did. Mm. Without the condensers, I'm not sure they'd have anywhere left. So he runs the condensers for everybody. Dima looks like he's had a lot of work done. Well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, we've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. It really is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. And all he thinks of is others. Well, I'm not sure if I trust him yet, but... If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. I love There's a danger. boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? Heck yeah. What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. The point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Alright. We've got one job. Excuse me. Yes? Tell me about yourself, Faraday. Me? I don't know why you care. I escaped the Institute, just like others here. Never had my mind wiped, thankfully. Uh -huh. I like to think I came along right when Demon needed me. I found him before all this, before Acadia. He needed my help, though he refused to admit it. He's always been stubborn like that. Anyway, I've been by his side ever since, making sure he has everything he needs. Sorry. Never mind. Okay. Hey, Dima. Acadia is open to you. Did you need anything? What's with your head? Okay. Uh, okay. Well, he opened that door. Ah, all the doors look like they're open now. Alright, there's down. Anything here? E. E. 
The detective's life isn't an easy one, but it rarely lacks for excitement. Yeah, you just found out that your prototype with a brother, a brother who got to keep his memories. How you feeling about that? He remembers. You don't remember. But he does, and you don't. He's still got his brain meats. He's still got all his memories. Are you, are you bitter about it, Nick? Are you bitter about having your mind wiped? Losing yourself over and over? Like the guy from Memento waking up every day, a new person with... With nothing in your head but false and planted memories of a life you never actually led yourself. An imposter wearing someone else's brain. Does it bother you, Nick? How you feeling, Nick? Hey. Go on. Nick. What? Oh, sorry. Just got my head full of what Dima was talking about. That's a bit of a shock. What do you think he is, really? Family? I don't trust him yet, but he might be. Honestly, I don't know what to think, Nick. Yeah, guess that makes two of us. I spent a long time wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. If I was just a failure, or they gave up, or just plain got bored. I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash. Never thought of the possibility that someone wanted me out. Helped me escape. There's got to be some kind of proof out there. What really happened between me and Dima? I'd appreciate it if we could keep an eye out. All right. What kind of proof would we be looking for? I don't know. But our best bet is to keep looking into Dima and Acadia. Well, shoot, now I want to keep Nick with me. Instead of switching to old Longfella. Of course, Nick. We'll find something. Thanks. I know we don't have much to go on. Just keep me in mind if you find something that might give us some answers. No, I got it. I'm better at hacking than you are, Nick. Although I guess I can't do it automatically the way you can. I don't have that automatic robot brain hacking. Well, it, it wasn't in red, so I guess they won't get mad at me for hacking yes. it. No, no. Don't mind me, I'm just rifling through your stuff. See, it's not in red, so I guess it's okay. All right, Faraday, what secrets are you hiding? Allegiance, nothing. I've got, like, all the special hacking things, so you can click on these bracketed bits to get rid of fake answers, and then that pretty much makes it automatically solvable. That's it. Because then you've got fewer choices than the number of tries you have. System status. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Not perfect. Could use some more drives. That's what he sent us to get. Okay. Well, that's just reinforcing the idea that he needs some drives. Yes? No. Is this door open now? Where was it? Where was it? My sense of direction. There it is. No way to pick still this. Still locked. Okay. It's still locked, Nick. We'll get it later. I guess we'll go downstairs now and see if we find Kasumi.
And always look for stuff, because we got... We're going to have some new... Uh, what do you call it? Settlements. We're going to have some new settlements that we got to stock up and do constructing on, I suppose. It's part of our new island adventure. Bone saw. Was that the guy? Was that was that Randy Savage from Spider Man? Was that his name? Bone saw, bone, bone crusher, or something like that. I'm rambling now. Yeah, I'll take the extinguisher. Nick, where are you, Nick? I need you to carry stuff. How did you get over here already? Heads up. I'm all ears. Here's what I've got. Hey there. So, I understand you've seen a good bit of our island. What do you think? Um, I've actually barely seen any of it. Like, hardly, hardly any at all. Wait. It's sort of an old world, burn it to the ground and salt the earth kind of charm. Hmm, interesting. Of course it was already burned to the ground once. I'm not sure attempting that again would yield much. This island, with all of its danger and beauty, predates you and I. The ecosystem isn't what it once was, but it has adapted, and it will continue to adapt, long after we're gone. What's important, really important in the long run, is understanding it, and then passing that knowledge along to those who will follow us. Nerd alert. Nerd alert. All right, then. What, what exactly do you mean by that? So, what exactly are you doing? As much as I can, given limited resources. Cataloging specimens, observing evolutionary trends, compiling data for future generations. I should note that I'm not fully versed in human anatomy. Oh? But I'm your best chance of medical assistance should you require it. Oh. Since Dima has approved of you, I'm more than willing to offer help. Do, 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 do you want me to... You want me to teach you about human anatomy? I can teach you about human anatomy there. I'd like to help you with your research. Oh, well, that's thoughtful of you. Hmm. No, I'm okay. just doing missions. What can we have you do? I don't actually There's care. There's a flower native to this island, a species of the genus Aster. But that's your name. It survived remarkably well. It doesn't quite have the brilliance of color that I understand it once did. Before... Hmm, well, before the war. I'm personally rather fond of them, but lately have been investigating secondary chemical properties they possess. If you could bring me additional samples, it would speed up my research. Okay. I can offer you a meager <laughs> amount of caps, if that makes the idea more appealing. Whatever. I'm keeping an eye out for more flowers. Thank you. I'm just not s mm -hmm. Okay. Um... I didn't, um, put a thing in my missions, though, did it? It didn't give me a mission. So, okay. Okay, if I find any asters, I'll be the first to forget to tell you. 
Black Bloodleaf. Black Bloodleaf. Black Bloodleaf? Is that the same Bloodleaf? Can I help as... you? No. What can you tell me about Acadia? It was originally a place of science. I like that about it. Right. Mm. I don't mean the Institute when I say home. More that... Uh, blah, we all belong blah, blah. here in our own way. Mm -hmm. You're boring. I'm, I'm sorry, but... You're just not as interesting. Got a thing for antiques, huh? <laughs> well, I'm traveling around with you. <laughs> see, see, you opened yourself up for that one. Traveling around with a 300-year-old torn-up robot. You're gonna talk about antiques? You, that's you. You just set me up for that one. It's like you did that on purpose. Oh, you got a janitor, huh? And I thought it was just going to be all scientists. Sounds all right. like you got the all clear. So what's your story? I came here looking for Kasumi. Oh, isn't that sweet of you? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. Mm, but then, mm, mm. aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. So, so you, you said Kasumi is confused, huh? You must be the life of the party around here. Hey, if we had parties, I damn well would be. Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay, I like you. Anything interesting you can tell me about Acadia? God, no. Have you looked around this place? Death by boredom is a legitimate concern. So, come on. You want to do a little trick? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, what's your story? Me? <laughs> no story here. Not one that matters, anyway. Like I said, it's not worth holding on to. Nice of you to ask, though. Hey there. Need something? Let's see what you got. Let's do some business. All right. First of all, ammo. Eh, it doesn't have any of the interesting ammo, really. Why don't you have any interesting ammo? Oh, God, he's got lots of junk. He probably don't want any of this. Okay, do you have any legendary stuff? Oh, what's that? Recon. Damn, not moving. Yeah, that's not something I'm going to really ever use. All right. Gonna have to start getting picky about what we pick up. Cog's journal. Cog's journal. Help Ferry move some of the Dima's equipment in the observatory area. Bad enough that those things are damned heavy. But Fede always insists I empty my pockets in case I'm carrying something that would disrupt the sentiment of instruments, blah blah blah. Look, I get it, the boy's in love. But I could whack Dima's computers with a sledgehammer and it wouldn't damage a damn thing. So we're in the upper deck of the observatory. I finish putting everything on the table and Chase comes in and starts yelling at Faraday about some emergency meeting they're supposed to have. So of course Faraday leaves me to push around the computers on my own. I went to Dima and complained, but he just says I need to focus on the negativity within and accept the people around me as they are. Another sunny day in Acadia. Hmm. Okay. 
Cole. Hey there. Who are you? Most of these people don't look like synths. You're new here too, huh? I mean, I haven't been here that long myself. Honestly, I'd be dead right now if it weren't for Chase. Turns out it's pretty hard to live as a synth in the Commonwealth. I'm sorry to hear that you suffered. Thanks, but it doesn't matter now. I'm here, and I'm safe. And I'm never leaving. I'll see you around, okay? Oh, okay. No. Need something? No, I'm just gonna steal. I'm just gonna steal this. It's not stealing, it's not owned. It's not flagged as owned, so you can blame the designers. Dima, most of us would probably be dead. Blame the designers for not flagging it as owned, and I can take everything. Alright, what do we got here? We got a bar. Lots of candles. I assume you're not planning on staying long. Gosh, after a welcome this warm, who wouldn't want to just stay forever? This place isn't for you. Acadia is only as secure as we make it. We take unnecessary risks, we get careless, and things can go bad. Fast. If there's a synth who needs a safe place, then we take them in. Let them live as a synth, without fear. You don't fit that description. That makes you an unnecessary risk. It's nothing personal. Minimizing our contact with outsiders is just practical. Well, speaking, speaking of unsafe and taking risks and minimizing contact with outsiders, I just walked in the front door. Just walked right in the front door. It wasn't locked. There was no guard. I just walked right in and met your leader. Like, nobody even tried to stop me. Nobody questioned me. I just just walked well, right in and he was right, right there in front of me. In fact, I couldn't talk to anybody else before I talked to your leader. I could have walked in and assassinated him. You really need to work on your security. It's absolutely terrible. Terrible security here. Terrible. You can relax. I'm not a threat. Just don't cause any trouble. A lot of people out here can use a hand. Magazine. Nice. 10% less damage from radiation attacks. The island is Almanac. Children of Adam Exposé. Never anything on the back. Naveen, are hey you there. are you important? Probably not sleeping sleeping on a mattress in the bar, you're probably not important. No offense. Don't mean to sound classist, but Acadia may not look like much from the outside. But it's all some of us have got. No, it, looks it like... certainly wasn't what I was expecting, but it means there's hope, right? There's no room for hope left in this world. Don't say that. Hope is all some of us have. <laughs> when I first escaped, I had no idea what to I do. I was with trying to turn off my flashlight. I was so lost. I was trying to turn off my flashlight. Scared. I didn't mean but to I heard say rumors that. rumors of Chase and what she was doing, and she was bringing people to a safe place, a place just for us. Okay. And now here I am. Mm -hmm. So now you're here. What comes next? I don't know. I really don't. I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. Yeah. Sometimes dead is better. Excuse me. I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. Okay. So you're that new gal from the Commonwealth. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it, but... How are things there? You think of the Commonwealth as back home? Aren't you a sin? Well, certainly. Why wouldn't I? It's where I came from. I would like to see it again someday. Once things settle down here. Acadia is all well and good, I suppose. 
but honestly, it does get a bit boring. You're safe here. That's what really matters. Mm, I suppose. One could do with a little excitement now and then, though. Don't you think? I'm sure I'll see you around. Do take care. You want to buy something or what? Hi. I can't wait to get out of here and travel. Sure. Let's take a look. It's not much, but it's the best I can do. All right, at least he's got the good ammo. Additional projectile. Is this the same thing my... The, what is the one I have to... Is it a... Hard hit violent. 25 damage. More recoil. His one's better, but I would have to modify it up. Three eighty-four. Yeah, I think we're gonna buy old reliable. Must be pretty cheap. I didn't actually check the price, but still not that high on the old price. So yeah, I think we're good. Old fisherman's hat. Sergeant Ash. That is a flamethrower. I don't really... That's not particularly good either. Of an effect. Crippling legs. Because of the flamethrower you want to be up close anyway. Crippling legs is good for something where you're trying to run away and stay at a distance from the enemy. So they can't run up to you. I think that's all we're getting from you. Um, is there anything I want to sell? I think I probably already sold all my... Junk weapons. Still got sixty thousand dollars. Acadia may not look like much from the outside, but it's all some of us have got. That's good. Military ammo. Oh yeah, fusion core. Military ammo's bag because that's got ballistic fiber, which is hard to find. <coughs> not look like much. This is the only place I know of where I don't need to hide who I am. New girl, right? Must be, <laughs> because I don't recognize you. Look, I'm not anybody worth talking to. My head is killing me. Now's not a good time. What's wrong? We're doing this anyway? Even after saying I don't want to talk? <laughs> God. You try having somebody botch a mind wipe on you and see how it feels. Then get back to me, okay? 
Sounds like you should get some help. Yes, right. Brilliant. If only I'd thought of that and, oh, I don't know, gone someplace to see synths that could help me. Like, maybe Acadia? Thanks so much for the advice. Well, excuse me, princess. Synths and humans will all get along something. There's a hole in the floor. Yep. Nope. Me. Caps. Okay. Mm, mm, stuff, stuff. Tape. Duct tape. Loot. Stairs. Anything else on this level? Yes. Some other time, okay? All right. Cranky. As long as we work together, we can sleep safely, knowing we're free. All right. Lots of free junk. Lots of free junk in Acadia. What is this room? Oh, is that the room with the... Yeah, okay. Wait. If this goes upstairs... Wait. Don't have the key. Hmm. Okay, I think that's this floor done. Go on downstairs. And eventually we'll find Kasumi and Chase. Ugh, circuitry is completely fried. Well, that'll be Kasumi then. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. What's that you're working on? Just trying to cobble some pre-war junk into something usable. Now, do you mind telling me what you're doing here? Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They... they did what? You came all this way... for me. Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? Listen, do you have any proof that you're actually a synth? Little things. Dreams of waking up in a lab. Years I can't remember from when I was a kid. Not to mention how I never quite fit in back at home. Mm, none of that. None of that is even weird for a normal human. But I don't, I don't want to, like, just go in and convince her that she's not. Hello? You're just standing there. Kasumi, I think you're just confused. Everyone has doubts about who they are sometimes. It's... That's part of life. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. 
But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. Uh -huh. What's going on in Acadia? What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That's why you came after me. Yep. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. Yeah, that's that's kind of what we were expecting. That's, you know, obvious. Good Leah. Sister, there's a lot of things on this island more important than you. If you could just make the jokes for a second. You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. Hmm. You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I've found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. Oh, I've, I've got the key. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. No, it, was, it wasn't that... I, I already hacked it, it wasn't that tough. Unless there's going to be more stuff on it now that I have the quest, which would be silly. Step aside and let the master hacker show you how it's done. If you're sure. Good luck. Once you have something, let me know. Unless Faraday has another computer other than the one that I hacked, but that was that was that was Faraday's computer up on the top level. So she came here. And now she suspects that her savior is not so great. Did that? Wait. Wait, that goes up. Wait. Is that the same way that I went down? I'm confused. I'm so confused. Sense of direction. Right. Okay, so yeah, okay. I understand now. I understand now. Makes sense now. That goes there, and then this goes here. Every Ooh. day is a struggle here. But at least we don't have to hide. Hey, every day is a struggle here. Okay. But at least we don't have to hide. Well, you, you kind of are hiding. <laughs> you kind of you are hiding. Actually won the war. You're hiding well, yeah, in the fog in a bunker in an island out in the middle of the ocean. You, you can't really call this Katie's not hiding. From the Institute that we don't have to worry, right? Sure, whatever. I mean, the Institute has teleporters, so they can kind of go anywhere, but whatever. Anything 
I can lug for you? Yes. But not from over there. Gotta get closer if you want to do some lugging. Can't pick this. Don't walk away from me, Nick, you son of a gun. Heads up. I'll uh, see what I can do. Here's what I've got. Okay. Oh, right. He's already maxed out on weight. Shoot. All right. I don't know what the least useful thing that I should drop should be. Drop some cement and fertilizer. Acadia is far away enough from the institute that we don't have to worry, right? Wait, what? Condensed fog. The heck is what is jug we got jugs and we got condensed fog. And they're heavy. Jugs and condensed fog. Steel and oil, okay. The fog is apparently made of oil. Wait, where's jug? Jug is just steel, okay, we don't need that. Does the computer say current projects fog condensers blah 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 uh, upgrades consumption rumor no to ignore hmm okay Demons may be a little arrogant, but... Hmm. Dima's... Maybe Dima has a god complex and is pushing himself too far. Pick the lock. 
master lock. I'm having a trouble finding the sweet spot. Sweet. Lots of ammo. Excuse me, Nick. Okay, we found the ammo room. Nick, would you stop walking in front of me while I'm trying to get ammo? Wow. Crazy ammo room. Drugs and weapons, oh my. Okay. Alright, so we still haven't met Chase. Where's Chase? Wait, storage room notice. Quit taking things. If you need to get in, come by the store and... S I'm going to say no, but you can ask. Okay. Whoops. I didn't mean to s actually steal that. I've already got too many notes in my inventory. Overloading my... Ability to scroll through them all. Well, supposedly, there's a quest where I can eavesdrop something in here. Maybe if I'm eavesdropping, I should turn off my light. We need to accomplish this without bloodshed. Far Harbor and the Children of Adam have a right to exist on this island, the same as us. They're going to kill each other, Dima. There's no stopping it. We need to pick a side now. Haven't we already picked a side? Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act. We couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog. Just like you couldn't just leave the Cult of Adam without a home? Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The Nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac, and he's going to keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, can we talk about the elephant in the room? We keep dancing around it. My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. 
I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight, but at the time, it was an act of trust. I was honestly more worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security and get hurt, giving the children my old home, allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. <sighs> Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have? And what's in them? I've gone over this before, Chase. I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have, but I've run some projections of worst-case scenarios. If we do nothing and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands... So send me over there. I'll be in and out in a day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught, or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment, Chase. But yes, we've been writing a program that will let you access and download my memories. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice. Well, you might have you might have another He's choice. Got his fingers everywhere on this island, and whatever's in his memories isn't something we can wait for someone else to find. You see a lot of folks at their worst in my line of work. Hard to not let it get to you sometimes. So yeah, I guess we're gonna jump in there. Go get deep. Someone alive under all that gear? I didn't mean to pick that up. I was trying to pick up the little light stuff. Smart ass. I was trying to pick up the light stuff. We'll just put it in here and maybe it'll be still there when we come back someday and can carry it. Alright, Chase. Where did Chase go? You still here, Chase? No, no Chase. Still haven't actually met Chase. Whoops. Katie is far away enough from the Institute that we don't have to worry, right? Mm. Sure. So, Kasumi, I heard some information. I don't know if it's enough to get new talk with you, but... There you are. Hey, Kasumi. Dima has secrets. We have to find out what he's really up to. Okay. I'll get cracking. One day, I'm going to get out there and see the rest of the world. Hey guys. Hi. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. I 
I wanted to see for myself that she's safe. You have my word. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics, and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. So, what's your story? I used to be a courser, returning synths that had escaped from the Institute. I was tracking a synth and instead found Dima. He convinced me of the truth and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. Tell me about Acadia. Dima's told you most of what you need to know. It's as safe as we can make it for now. With every new synth we rescue, we're better able to defend ourselves. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. I, I actually, I have very little experience actually traveling around the island. Kind of brand new here. I did kill some lobstermen. That's about it, though. What's the problem? We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. <laughs> you have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Uh, Brooks is such an L-7. He's such an L7. Hey. Yes? No. Nothing new to talk about? Okay. Uh. Nice chair. Are you. Are you jacking into the Matrix? Dima? Is there anything I can do? Well, I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you. You're new to the island. What are you planning, Dima? Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me? About Far Harbor, the children of Adam, or my memories? I kind of know the children of Adam, but why don't you tell me about this particular band of them? The children of Adam on this island. You were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong, just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. Well, that's one way to end a feud. 
You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay, in return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock, and a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent, and their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. Yeah, it kind of sounds like the children of Adam are definitely the bad guys. Is that going to be twisted and turned and we're going to find out something different or are they just going to stay the bad guys? Seems pretty clear cut so far. You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the Children of Adam. I thought they were safe. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the Children of Adam. Gain access to their base in the old command center. Guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. Yeah, I heard you say this to Chase. I'll consider you to be an intruder. You already said this I've to Chase. I was eavesdropping. Some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. Are we going to do a, a, a cyberspace? Is there going to be a cyberspace secret sub-level thing? Minigame? Is there going to be a new minigame in cyberspace? Is that what we're going to be doing, eh? So how does this program work? There will be a fairly ordinary looking terminal with some attachments. The program will give you access to the terminal. Once you attempt to obtain a memory, your perspective might shift a little. Just relax then. The program will explain things to you as you need them. I'm gonna replace all your memories with pictures of cats. Meow. Well, I suppose that would certainly make remembering some of my darker hours more fuzzy. In all seriousness, good luck. I understand the risks you're taking on our behalf. It's in all our best interest that you succeed. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. If we find anything suspicious in those memories of yours, we'll be back. Count on it. Calm down, Nick. He is our ally so far. Okay, Kasumi wants to talk again. Kasumi wants to talk again already. I didn't think she would already. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I was wondering why I had a arrow inside the base still. And down another floor. Yeah. I am driving very poorly. Kasumi. Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. 
He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. Mm -hmm. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. All I find in those memories is just a hundred years worth of Dima staring at a wall. I'm gonna be really annoyed. Well, if you did, that's almost good, right? That means they're harmless. Anyway, good luck. She gave me $500 for that. And we got a trophy. Where you belong. I didn't expect that to complete a quest. I didn't think the quest would complete until I actually went and hacked his memories. All right. I got off on the wrong floor. He must done so much for all of us. No, he I hasn't. Just about anything to repay him. He's a loser. He's a nerd. I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. Where are the stairs? I, I lost the stairs. Let's go down. Alright, stairs up. Okay, now I guess we're ready to leave. Acadia. I'm sure Nick will catch up. So, whoo, boy. Took an hour and a half just to... Just to talk to everybody. There's some long conversations in there. Talked to everybody on Acadia. Got all our missions in the mission log. Now we're back out on the island. Oh, who's that? That looks like... That looks like the drug addict. That looks like the drug addict merchant. Don't let all that horsepower go to your head. Maybe someday more places in the world will accept us for who we are. Well. Maybe someday more places in the world will accept us for who we are. I forget her name, but Cricket? If it weren't for Acadia, I'd be dead. No question about it. She's wearing the same outfit as Cricket, and she's all small and skinny and gaunt. Okay, um... Right, so... We're gonna finish this video by going to Longfellow's Cabin. I guess I can't teleport straight there, can I? I'm gonna go to Longfellow's cabin so we can offload the weight we've got. Can I let me? Mm. So fast travel to Far Harbor first. It's the closest thing we've got. And then we'll unlock F Longfellow's cabin to be a settlement. Our first settlement on the new island.
Got a lot of information. Got a lot of information out of Acadia to process. My mind is kind of bogged down. Lots of plot. North. Get out of town. Who are you? Ah, you there. Are you that detective I've heard about? Yes, I am. You're back. Are you that detective I've heard about? I guess you could say that. Oh, wonderful. I wasn't sure how I was ever going to find you. Sounds like we may have another case on our hands. I haven't been able to find any of the local police force. The louts. I don't want to start a panic, but, well, we may have a murder on our hands and murder. we need an outside set of eyes. Where did the crime take place? At the Cliff's Edge Hotel, just north of the town. Will you help us solve this heinous crime? Who's the victim? Well, we want to keep this out of the tabloids, but it's Ezra Parker, the financier of the hotel. Please, you must help us. Every moment we wait, our residents are at risk. Who are your employers? I shouldn't say out here in the open, but my employers are quite wealthy, as are the other patrons of the hotel. Will you help us? There may still be a murderer at large. Okay, I'll help. Oh, thank goodness. Shall I guide you to the Cliff's Edge Hotel now? Go ahead. I'll meet you there. Very good. I shall meet you at the main entrance to the hotel. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that next time. We'll get, we'll get caught up in the side quest in the next video. This one's already gone on too long as it is. Dealing with Acadia. Just gotta get ourselves north. North. Too long for those. Guess we'll be doing some walking on the bottom of the ocean. Walk on the ocean. Pretty shallow. What was that over there? Is that just surf? Shipwreck here. There is something in it. Can't fit through the door in my power armor.
nice thing in there, long fella. Where well, there we go. Alright, so we made it here. So I'm just gonna... In between videos, I'm just gonna unload all my... weight that I don't currently need to be carrying. Yeah. If I can find Nick to get what he's got. There he is. Look alive. Go ahead. Looking for something? So long as you're it. Well, the power armor on, I can carry all his stuff and my stuff and still not be overloaded. Interesting. But yeah, I'll unload all this stuff I don't need. And we'll be back. Longfellow has a bowling pin. We'll be back next time. Ready to go check out the hotel, I guess. It's, she made it sound like it's going to be close by. So that'll probably be the closest thing we can go explore. With a quest attached. Next time on Fahaba.